Middlemarch, a study of provincial life. Middlemarch is not just a title, but a central theme of the novel, reflecting the intimate and multifaceted portrayal of a small English town in the early 19th century. In this study, Eliot meticulously examines the social, political and economic dynamics of provincial life, as well as the personal struggles of individuals within this tight-knit community. The novel is set in the fictional town of Middlemarch, which represents a microcosm of English society at large. By focusing on a provincial town, Eliot is able to explore the complexities of a society undergoing transition. The provincial setting allows her to scrutinise social mobility, class structure and the resistance to change, as Middlemarch struggles to adapt to the larger shifts in England, such as political reform and advances in science. The characters of Middlemarch embody the various strata of provincial society, from landed gentry like Sir James Chetham and the Brooke family to the aspiring middle-class figures like Tertius Lydgate, Fred Vincey and his father, Eliot captures the tensions and aspirations of individuals within these different social classes. Their actions, desires and failures are shaped by their provincial circumstances. Dorothea Brooke Her idealism and desire to do good are stifled by the limited opportunities available to women in provincial life, as well as by her misguided marriage to Casorban. Tertius Lydgate His dreams of bringing medical reform to Middlemarch are thwarted not just by his personal choices, but by the town's entrenched conservatism and resistance to new ideas. Rosamond Vincy As a local beauty, she represents the more superficial aspirations of provincial society, seeking social status through marriage, but eventually finding herself trapped by the limitations of her marriage to Lydgate. Elliot uses Middlemarch as a lens to comment on the limitations and challenges of provincial life. There is a deep sense of inertia and tradition in Middlemarch, where social hierarchies are rigid and gossip governs reputations. Innovation and reform, represented by characters like Lydgate and the political reform movements of the time, are often viewed with suspicion. Conservatism versus progress. The town is resistant to change, particularly in the fields of medicine and politics. Lydgate's struggle to implement modern medical practices and the lukewarm reception to the Reform Act of 1832 reflect provincial resistance to broader societal shifts happening across England. Gossip and social control. Provincial life in Middlemarch is shaped by reputation, appearances and the often paralysing effect of public opinion. For instance, the bankruptcy of Bulstrode is a dramatic event in the town and his moral failings become fodder for gossip. This constant scrutiny highlights how small-town dynamics limit individual freedom. Eliot's portrait of provincial life in Middlemarch is both specific and universal. Though the setting is rural and the characters may seem confined by their surroundings, Eliot's exploration of their inner lives, moral dilemmas and societal pressures gives the novel a timeless quality. The provincial setting serves as a laboratory for studying human behaviour, particularly how external societal forces, class, gender and politics, shape personal choices. In the end, Middlemarch. A study of provincial life is as much a study of human nature as it is of provincial life. Eliot shows that even in the most seemingly insignificant corners of the world, the human drama of ambition, love, disappointment and moral striving plays out with the same intensity as it does in the grander narratives of history. Through her compassionate and detailed portrayal of provincial life, Eliot elevates the small-scale, local stories of Middlemarch to a profound exploration of the human condition.